Hi, I'm Drac Attack from Pantheon Plus. And at Pantheon Plus, we love MMORPGs. We love them so much that we stream them every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's what we call our MMORPG Classes 101. So most recently, we decided to play Final Fantasy XI. Mr. Nathan Napalm suggested it because it's an old school RPG and it's a lot of fun. But there was one caveat. He told us the install was a little difficult. I think a little difficult is about the most understated thing he could have possibly said. It is the most frustrating, keyboard breaking, crazy, insane, stupid install that I've ever had to do to get a video game much less an MMORPG installed. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I decided to make a video. I want to help you get this thing installed if you want to play Final Fantasy XI without having to destroy anything. So here we go. Now, there is a step-by-step -step guide that I used to make this video. And I will link it down below and also in the show notes. So you can use that if you want to as a reference as well. But I found it to be confusing, and also I think there's some stuff that's out of order in, during the install. And I ran into some snags using it, so hopefully this video guide will clear some of that up. Alright, if I haven't scared you away yet, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is download the game. The game files can be found through the link below, and there are five files you need to download. They're about a gig apiece. Once you get them all downloaded, then you need to extract them into another folder. Once the files have been extracted, go into the folders and click on FX11 Setup. This will bring up a box with three check marks. You need to install all three. You need DirectX, you need the Play Online Viewer, and then you need the Final Fantasy install files themselves. Once those three things are installed, the next thing we need to do is go download the Final Fantasy XI free trial. Now I don't know why they couldn't have included this in the regular install, but this is what they did. So go to the link below and make sure that the free trial is in your cart and then check out. You'll also need to create a login. Now you're going to have more than one login for Final Fantasy XI. So I created a Word document so I could put all that information there and I wouldn't get confused when I had to log in in the future. The next thing we need to do is to activate our products. So we, to do that, we need to go to your email. You should have two emails. One email is to complete your Square Enix account. You should just click on that and it should complete it. The next email is to get your Final Fantasy XI trial key activated. You have to go to the very bottom and you have to click on the red button and then that will open up another your account window and then you will get your trial account code. And we'll need that for later on. I would also make sure to copy that code onto your Word document because one time it sent me an email with the code and one time it did not. So I was super glad when I did it the second time and I copied the code and it made it much easier. So the next step is you need to create a Square Enix account. I know what you're thinking, didn't I already do that? Well that was a Square Enix store account. This is a Square Enix online account, totally different. Hashtag sarcasm. Anyway, once you create the account, it'll send you a code in your email. You need to input that code into the process and then your account will be registered. For some strange reason, it then kicks you out and you have to log back in to the Square Enix online account. Don't ask me why, but that's just what it does. So hopefully you've Remember what that login and password was, you just used it. Of course, now we have to create another login because you need to create a Final Fantasy service account. So click on the blue Final Fantasy logo and enter your information yet one more time. Next, you guessed it, we need to create another account. What we need to do is we need to add a Play Online account because Final Fantasy thought it was going to be a hub for all MMORPGs like Steam and you were going to, it was going to host lots of different MMORPGs. But that didn't happen. But to play Final Fantasy XI online, we still have to install Play Online because it's still tied to it. So click Add New Play Online Service Account, click Next, 
And then you should see a screen that says play online registration. Now, when we registered um, for our play online demo, we, sh we should have had that code. And hopefully you copied that to a Word document. Um, so it's got the five boxes. So enter the code into the five boxes and click next. Then you're going to click next again. Then you're going to click next again. Then you're going to see a play online registration complete. And it's going to give you four codes. This is more information that you're going to need. So make sure you copy that to your Word document and save it because we're going to use that in the for our next step in the setup. Next, we need to install our play online viewer. So go into your Windows start bar and click play online viewer. Then click next. It'll download some files. Once it's done, click OK and then next. That'll get us to our next configuration page. You want to click on four play online members and then set up the add member information using the play online configuration that you should have copied to your Word document before. Please note that member name is just something that you make up and so it can be anything. But the play on play online ID is and the password you need from that information and you cannot make those up. And your Square Enix ID is the Square Enix online ID. Um, so hopefully you have that all in your Word document and hopefully it's labeled really well um, because it, if you get it confused it's a bear to figure out which stuff is which. Once you get it registered correctly, you'll see a link to log in to the Play Online Now. Once you log in, click on your username with the little picture of the orange hourglass. And then click Log In and enter your Square Enix online password. Click Connect. It'll take you through a few screens and then it'll ask you to set up yet another login handle. And this is just another made up uh, registration handle. So just put whatever you want into there and then click register. It's going to ask you if you want to um, edit your play online online profile. I pick no because at this point I'm really annoyed with it. Then you have to read some more legal jargon and hit approve and then OK. This will take you to the next screen where we click on Final Fantasy XI. And that will launch you into the very last screen where we can then click play. Once you click play, then you have to hit play again and then play again yet one more time. And then it will ask you if you want to update. Once you run the update, this is going to run for a long time, mostly because I think they capped the download speed on their end. So go grab a coffee, grab a break, take a breath, and then come back when it's all the way done. We are so close to this install being done, we can taste it. Before we launch Final Fantasy and start playing, we want to make sure to configure it correctly. So go back to your start bar and open Final Fantasy XI config. In there, you can set your resolution, also if you want to be in windowed mode, and then also your image quality. I maxed out image quality because let's face it, it's a 20 year old game. And so my, my up to date graphics card can handle that. Okay, so we are ready to get logged into this thing. Click on your Final Fantasy 11 icon. It'll bring up the play online viewer. Click on your profile name, click on login, put your Square Enix online password in there, click connect, click Final Fantasy XI, click play, click play again, and this will finally take us to our first Final Fantasy XI cutscene. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Final Fantasy XI. Time to start creating a character. Hopefully, you've used this guide to successfully install Final Fantasy XI. And please let me know in the comments if you actually got it done. And also let me know if you've ever tried to install Final Fantasy XI before and you've had issues with it. I would love to hear some feedback. And I'm super excited that you watched my video. And please like and subscribe. And have a great day. Drag Attack out.